Hey folks, uh, just doing a little channel update, having a little chat with you, get a few things off my mind. I, uh, well, we've been in the process of moving and my cell phone is not a smartphone, it's a dumb phone, so I only get about 10% of the messages through there. And we've just gotten a uh, phone and internet service after numerous attempts. <sighs> Not even going to go into that. That's neither here nor there. But uh, I'm just catching up on a ton of email. I've gotten an exorbitant amount of emails down to I'm hoping to get through them all by this weekend. Uh, just a few things on my mind and to let you know what's going on. We've moved of course. Uh, I liking this place more and more that we live here and well we do have an option to buy he wanted us to spend a winter to make sure that this is what we wanted well okay we haven't hit winter yet but I think with what we've got here we'll do better than the past several winters we've gone through and I don't care how hard it is I we're gonna work on getting this property the move's been trying every step of the way but now that we're all set up I'm finding little discoveries every day little things that give me a smile nothing that I really go in any detail over here or on a phone or anything. Uh, no sense in letting the government know everything. Especially the NSA, but that's neither here nor there. I had a good friend help me move. We got all moved in the time frame very easily. Um, Baxter an old friend of mine our uh, oldest dog he was 14 and a half I was thinking he was 15 and a half but that's neither here nor there it's 14 and a half and uh, we had to put him down been a big loss, a big setback for us. Had a friend. Well, here I'm I'm in the shop, but we have what's called the man cave at this location. And uh, well, we've got satellite TV and I've got Sunday ticket I'm a big American football fan I'm starting to get into European football but anywho 
Uh, he hasn't watched TV in well over three, four years, whatever. But uh, thank you, Max, for the TV, for the man cave, the dog house. Anywho, uh, it's a big, beautiful color TV. Tube, heavier than a bastard, but hey, you don't let gift horses in the mouth. And it provides what we wanted. Let's see, I got the Beast, which was on a previous video. Now I'm going to start off with, or I'm going to start off, I'm going to end up with a rant. Bradley Manning got 35 years in a military prison. for honoring his oath. <sighs> to be honest with you, I don't see him surviving the, mil the prison sentence. I don't. To me, he was a hero. He told us what we all felt and believed. He proved it. Well, not Bradley Manning. Snowden did that, but I mean, but even Manning did. Or, yeah. the senseless killing I could go on and on and on but I'm too tired I'm bringing in firewood I'm trying to get unpacked I'm getting things set up. I've got a wood, wood stove right over here beside me. I've got a wood stove in the house. I've got a hen house I've got to get going. I'm not going to worry about the meat bird shack even though I see outlets for heaters in there. I during the winter I'm not going to mess with meat birds. No. It will stay empty until spring. I figure I can raise enough meat birds in the summer. Been checking into aquaponics. where the plants are actually in dirt. It's watered, but the water that it's being watered is populated by fish. The fish feces and everything will enrich the earth and in turn enrich the heirloom seeds, well, the heirloom plants in an all natural way and I would like I'm checking that out because well we at some point I'm going to do a video on it but we've got I, I think we're sitting on a natural spring and uh, it just I, I've got a stream that's running from a spring 
right through my yard, my backyard, and uh, I've got to figure out how to contain that into a pool for water for, you know, say, sustaining a few lambs, maybe a goat, and, you know, some chickens. Um, just so many plans, so little time. Uh, a lot of this I'm not going to be able to start until spring. And I'm really hoping that by that time we've made a decision and gotten things going to purchase this place. I, as much as I want a wood, wood shop, it's not going to happen. I, the equipment I need, I'll be able to find but it's still going to cost us a small fortune and it's uh, all this equipment's going to be very limited as to what it can be used for and I think I would just as soon put that into aquaponics that money into aquaponics and uh, self-sustainability My wish list down the road is a some sort of a sawmill. I've got no problems with rough cut wood. I've got the hand equipment to sand or whatnot. Yeah, it's going to be long and tedious, but so aren't winters around here. So give me something to do. A log splitter. I've got some standing dead around here. Three trees that need to come down almost immediately. Well, that will be coming down this fall. I'll be able to get some maple boards out of and I'm hoping to get them about two inches thick mill them down to, well, mill them down so that they're two inches thick and make a butcher block dining room table. Something that's use, usable in more ways than just one instead of eating off of just being able to process things on as well. Well, I see I've rambled on for 13 minutes, so <sighs> sorry, just a little channel update, but that's what's going on, and uh, I'm going to be back with some mudroom rants, regular rants, and other stuff very soon, just busy trying to get ready for winter. Meantime, peace out all.